Welcome back to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week, we stop by a spectacular mid-century modern in the Jan Ma area that's totally been renovated by Scott Marrick from Marrick Architecture. We visit Circa 12 and talk about their show, Mysterious Muck. And lastly, we visit North Park Center. SBCA has their annual event, Bark and Build Competition, and we talk to designer Jason Congabel about his unbelievable luxury dog house. Stick around for the art scene, the calendar, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. Experience LED at Lights Fantastic Pro, our sponsor on Modern Dallas TV. Lighting is changing at warp speed and there's definitely an LED revolution going on. You'll see a curated selection of some of the coolest new LED fixtures from some of the best brands around the world. Visit their 12,000 square foot showroom minutes from the new Nebraska Furniture Mart in Louisville off the Sam Rabin Tollway. Come see for yourself how lighting can enhance and change your next project. So Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is at a fantastic home that's been renovated in the Jan Ma area. It's at 7418 Malabar. I'm here with Scott Myrick from uh, Myrick Architecture. Scott, okay. you were definitely a big part of this house turning into what it is today. What was that process like and how did it all come to fruition? Well, I got uh, contacted from the client to start designing the house and uh, we, it was an existing house from Robert Perry, who was the original architect, had gone through a couple of uh, different uh, renditions, I guess, different people who had lived in the house and changed over time. And uh, when we got hired, we met with the client, got their needs, wishes, desires for the house and uh, they really had a love for the outdoors, which we tried to build upon. and. Uh, create uh, a good haven for them to live in and uh, so th from from there we got into all the details and uh, and shot from there and, and obviously you've opened up the space and the walls the kitchens open right. the living room you know uh, you, the, the windows I imagine all new and you've opened up it's just a beautiful like retreat yes so we uh, the the windows were all here initially and we uh, came through replaced them with all more energy efficient windows to to kind of uh, defeat the heat right. of, of the days but uh, we opened up the kitchen to be more in, in line with the kind of modern living arrangement people uh, desire and uh, the, the den opened up to the kitchen which opened up to the dining and uh, we created a space in the study as well that would look down into the living areas really to open it up and let light pass through a lot more than, than previously. So this is a mid-century modern home? Yes. And you've sort of kept that same sensibility, yeah. but you've added some unique additions. Sure. How we, did that all play into the concept? Well, uh, like I mentioned, the client really wanted uh, some exterior spaces, wanted to spend time outside. And uh, instead of cramming all that up against the house while we were hunting around the house, we realized we really like to stand back at the back of the yard and look at the house and vice versa, have potentially have something to look at uh, from inside the house. So we created a bar of a pavilion, a pool, and then an exercise room uh, to be some spaces that they could go out into the yard and, uh, and enjoy, enjoy the, the scenery and the, the neighborhood. Uh, and that also served as a backdrop so we didn't see as much of the neighbors uh, across the alley. And then the lap pool's yeah. also part of it. Yes, yes. Well, this is a magnificent home. It's in Janmai area. If you're familiar with the Janmai area, it's between uh, Forest and uh, North Haven, 75 to uh, Hillcrest. But it's in a wonderful area of shopping, hospitals if you may need. But some of the uh, highlights are Nosh has just opened up at uh, Preston and Forest. You've got Asian Mint, one of my favorites. You can see this home at BriggsFreeman.com. It's listed by Beverly Pitchford or Briggs Freeman Sotheby's International. Or you can visit ModernDallas.net and see all our listings. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Thanks.
Modern Dallas Art is here at Circuit 12 Contemporary. It's a wonderful gallery. They just recently moved from Dragon Street down to uh, the Levy area. Uh, I'm here with Dustin Orlando, the uh, owner of the gallery. Dustin, I've always admired your shows. Tell us what's your vision when you create a show. Uh, when creating a show, we pretty much just, you know, it's an aesthetic that comes from just a representation of who we are as individuals, our personal taste, things that we think may be filling a void in this market, bringing artists to the market from outside areas, and just uh, trying to help contribute to what's going on here. So when we're putting together shows, we just kind of look at all of that as a whole and then set a schedule for about a year and then kind of break it down quarterly. And then uh, we have a certain aesthetic that's kind of representational of what we do. Absolutely, and it's, it's distinctive. Yeah. Are most of your artists from out of the state or out of Texas? We do primarily carry, uh, most, most of the artists we do work with are from out of state. Um, a big part of what we do is like to uh, incorporate local and regional artists in with these out of state artists so that they can form a, a conversation with each other. Those artists can go back to their markets, talk about how good Dallas was. Those Dallas artists and Texas artists can talk about like these new relationships they form with artists from say New York or abroad, you know, and so it's a big, uh, the point is to try to bring all these people together, cultivate and get it spread on a bigger platform instead of just a local platform. So that's kind of a process that we like it's, to go It's an on. interesting process. With this particular show, Mysterious Muck, uh -huh. you have a curator who created this particular one. Yeah, so another part of what we do with our programming is we have a few gallery artists that we tend to work with. Um, you know, once or twice a year, we give them show opportunities. They're kind of our stable artists. Um, and sometimes instead of giving them a show of their work, we'll ask them to organize or curate a show. In the case of this show, one of our gallery artists, Clark Goolsby, he organized this show. Um, we've been working on this for close to about a year's time. And uh, so that's you know another part of what we do. We'll invite the artists that make work to take a different step in presenting what they're capable of doing by presenting shows. And then that brings artist friends that they're familiar with that we don't know about into our uh, venue as well. So. But it's great. Let's have a chat with uh, Clark and see what his vision was for this show. Sure. Awesome. Clark, obviously this is an interesting show. How did you put these artists together and create this concept? And what was your vision for it? Well, so the first thing was the theme was um, thinking about how um, kind of internet culture and how we're introduced to visual culture um, impacts how we combine imagery and I think for me I was really interested in the idea of if you think about like your Google images or your Facebook feed and how you're seeing all these contrasting images all the time you're kind of bombarded with this visual information and how that influences artists in their work today and how they do collage kind of based on that work so everybody that's in the show is um, <clears throat> you know really working with a lot of different elements that sometimes feel like they don't relate but marrying them in really interesting ways and so that was kind of the vision and yeah this piece of Matthews is a great one this is Matthew Ziefeld and that's really what his work is all about is kind of taking all these disparate elements that don't necessarily feel like they belong um, and using them as maybe an abstract painter would use just brush strokes but combining all this stuff to kind of create something that's greater than the sum of its parts basically. And this is a wonderful show. The sculpture piece, who's that by? Uh, Taylor Baldwin. Yeah, and he's another guy that just, you know, his use of material is so fascinating to me and he just combines so many different pieces and things into just, you know, amazing new works. So really exciting work. Fantastic. This is a great show, Mysterious Muck. Love the name. Uh, it's here at Circuit 12. You can find them on Levy and uh, we appreciate you taking the time with us today. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. Modern Dallas is here this week at North Park Center and we're featuring the SBCA's event Bark and Bull Competition. It's a wonderful event of luxury dog homes designed by some of the uh, greatest architects in Dallas and we're here with uh, Jason Congabel with Moment. He was one of the designers of this particular home for your dog and it's got zero landscape as you can see. It's a wonderful piece. So you own one of these luxury dog homes, all you have to do is stop by the mall, purchase a raffle ticket for $5, which benefits the SBCA, 
and you could take one of these home when they have the drawing on December the uh, 8th at 1 p.m. You will be notified. But more importantly, I'm here with Jason. And Jason, tell me, how did you come up with this cool looking dog pelt? Well, uh, Rogers O'Brien uh, approached me uh, back in November <clears throat> and said that they had a, a great event that they were going to be sponsoring uh, and did I want to be a part of it with them. So uh, basically the idea is, you know, we're designing dog houses for the SPCA and, uh, you know, we all got together and we just started thinking about, what, you know, what, what would we, if we were a dog, what would we want to have as our house and, you know, like, well, we're going to design something that we want to live in. And so, you know, I'm a, I'm a modern guy, you know, like you. And uh, so we just started sketching some ideas out. And I, and I always harken back to the really kind of classical, you know, contemporary architecture, you know, mid-century modern kind of stuff, stuff that's timeless. And so we want to design something that's timeless, it's going to hold up over the years and, and really hold up, uh, you know, outdoors because this is a dog house. So, uh, you know, we went through the design process and sketched a bunch of ideas, did some renderings, presented it to North Park Center. Uh, and it just kind of evolved from a sketch into what you see here today. Yeah, it's a wonderful piece. Obviously, zero escape landscaping, so your dog never has to worry about taking care of the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> but more important, this is a rough dog's life, yeah. but it's a wonderful event. And starting on uh, Black Friday, there will be a pet adoption here as part of their program. So stop by the mall. It's a great holiday event and uh, enjoy this uh, wonderful show of beautiful dog homes. <laughs> Mary Thomas Gallery is a contemporary fine arts gallery offering collectors, designers, and patrons exciting and visionary art. Located in the vibrant Dallas Design District, the gallery space provides opportunities to inform, instruct, and inspire art collectors. Rotating exhibits feature regional, national, and international artists whose works may be found in private corporate and museum collections. Please visit us at 1110 Dragon Street or at MaryThomasGallery.com. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, on the art scene on November the 28th, Kirk Hopper Fine Art opens their show, Everything Means Nothing, from 6.30 to 8.30. And on the calendar of events, Dallas Center for Architecture has their famous walking tours. There's a Skyline 360 or a Main Street walking tour, and that's on Saturdays. Check out their website at dcfa.com. Our open house today is our featured open house at 7418 Malabar. It'll be open from 1 to 3 p.m. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. Visit our website at moderndallas.net for all the real estate listings, art listings, calendar events, and a whole bunch more of modernist living in Dallas. And if you want a tad more modernist, Listen to our show, The Modernist, Radio for the Modern Human, with Jeff Mitchell and myself, Jeff Levine, on Sundays on KLIF, 570 AM at 2 PM, or on your iHeartRadio app. For this week, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the time with your family and friends. And until next week, we'll see you later. <laughs>